The reason Ne Kung is bullshit is because the definition of Ne Kung has been bastardized by people who like to make a quick buck and by people who are their students who have been misled. Originally, the Taoist cultivation practices were known as Ne Kung, and Qi Kung was relatively unheard of. That's because back in the good old days, in the beginning of civilization, masters were very rare and usually hidden, and students were serious. They would spend years and decades with a master learning a really in-depth system. Then later, with the advent of cities and advertising and commercialism and sickness, people became interested in Qi Kung in order to improve their health. So, Ne Kung actually consists of vast systems that are holistic that address all aspects of cultivation, and they contain thousands of techniques. Qi Kung is made of small sets of exercises which are taken out of Ne Kung systems. So Qi Kung can be as simple as uh, a set of five or ten exercises that can be done in ten minutes to something that is say uh, can take a half hour or even more. Um, but Ne Kung is something which you learn little by little because there are so many variations and so many techniques that it takes years. Normally it takes about eight to ten years to learn all the variations and actually a lot of those variations are keys that allow you to learn the basics of the system. Um, Real Ne Kung is very powerful. It's for enlightenment and immortality and for super health. These days, what a lot of people think of as Ne Kung are small sets of exercises, which by definition is Qi Kung. Um, also, Ne means internal, so some people have perverted the meaning to present Ne Kung as meaning visualizing energy moving in your body, which is really a stupid fundamentalist way of cultivating. It's both weak and dangerous and pretty much useless. Real Ne Kung is a lot of exercise. It's a lot of physical strenuous work, which includes energy work at the same time. It also includes a lot of meditation, and the meditations are also relatively strenuous. There are hundreds of types of meditation and thousands of types of movements. And a lot of what you find in Qi Kung are the weaker aspects of Ne Kung. Because anything that is powerful is dangerous, and Ne Kung is very powerful. So it should only be learned from a teacher, little by little. Also, things of power are always hidden. They're never given to the public for free or they're never sold for small amounts of money. Only really dedicated people are able to learn Ne Kung. It takes a lot of dedication and it takes a pure heart. And it, takes a, it takes a lot of internal self-honesty. People who are immature or self-dishonest will never be able to get far in Ne Kung. In addition to the videos, we find there are some people selling books about Ne Kung. The thing is that even one exercise in Ne Kung, one moving exercise, has a lot of details. And you could take a whole book explaining one exercise, which is what some people do when they sell Ne Kung books. And you can't really describe it. It requires somebody who is a really good observer and who is dedicated to imitating as well as possible to notice all the little variations 
and then to take that home and practice it a lot to learn what kind of energetic gifts it contains. So, you can't learn Ne Kung from a book, and you can't learn Ne Kung from a video. All the videos and books that claim to sell Ne Kung are lies. You may be able to learn a little bits and pieces of Ne Kung, but that, by definition, is Qi Kung. Ne Kung is the whole thing which you need. You need the whole thing in order to go all the way and to become a master. You can't become a master of Qi Kung by learning a few sets of exercises.